The process for the costumes, the design and the creation begins with Michael Harrison choosing which panto we're going to do and which part I'm going to play. From there, we collaborate together. I mean, I have ideas and I send them in to Michael who says yes or no. And um, we build it up slowly over the months. When we begin the making process, we look through Hugh's designs, select fabrics, decide if there are any issues within the build, i.e. how we're going to get them on to Julian. I suddenly came up with the idea of, of Nelson's signal to his ships before the Battle of Trafalgar, uh, which was all done by nautical flags. So he wears a sort of mast on his head and uh, the flags come from that. Whereas Historically, you might build a costume using crinoline with Julians. They're often metal, wood, foam, anything that holds that structure. I think the flag costume is one of the most beautiful. You get what it is straight away, you know. I'm a pirate. Pirates have flags. He's completely fearless about what to wear. Uh, he's never said, I'm not going to wear that, it's too difficult. I mean, as long as it gets in a reaction, um, He's perfectly happy. So my my whole input into the show is to get the silly ideas onto the stage as possible, really. I don't think there are any limits to what I would wear. The thing is, Hugh Durrant is so clever and talented, he wouldn't give me anything that wasn't going to work. Julian's costumes are both a challenge and an absolute joy. Rarely do you get the opportunity to, to build something this lavish and extravagant. And I suppose the real pleasure is each year trying to top last year's in some way, whether that's just applying more crystals or more glitz or slightly bigger or a slightly bigger hat. Seeing my designs on the Palladium stage, it's one of the great, great theatres of London and uh, you don't get much better than that.